Hello everyone, I'm Uji Wiz. This is my little Minecraft server. I figured that I would hop on and make a little starting house slash care package place for folks that want to join. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, gonna mine some trees and whatnot. I wanted to start my own little server because I thought it would be a fun little thing to connect with the audience that I'm trying to cultivate. And I love playing Minecraft, so what harm would one more server cause, you know? I thought that was a creeper for some reason. I thought I heard something like behind me, but nope. Just the start of some rainfall. It's funny, it's raining in real life where I am as well. As well as this blocky liminal space that I'm inhabiting. Figured it's always nice to have a wide mine shaft. I like going two blocks wide at least. Even if it wears down my pick. Oh, we're digging. I think I'd like to make this all the way down to bedrock. So people can branch off in their own little strip mines and whatnot. Gonna make a couple of furnaces. And I'm gonna fend off this Zambo. Very rude of you to come up on me while I'm crafting. Oh, I'm used to bedrock where I can just spam click. This is Java. This is Java with the combat update. That will take a little bit of getting used to again. Okay. Yeah, I know at least one person has gotten... Oh, yeah, someone joined. That crafter underscore just joined, so... There we go. I guess it is joinable. Yo! Oh, rest in peace, fam. I'm at... Well, here, I guess you can just look at the screen once, once I press F3. But, uh, negative 480, 60, 14. Right here, fam. I should probably uncover this hole, huh? I covered it up for... <laughs> covered it up for the Zambos that were outside, but I, I suppose if someone's trying to find me, I should uncover my hidey hole. Yo, what's up? Hey, here's a shovel and a pickaxe if you'd like. If you'd like. Yeah, I do have a noise gate on, so I don't know if anyone can hear the rain in real life, but it is raining in real life and in the game, which is a fun little meme. Choppin', choppin', choppin'. Congrats on the Stone Age technology. Big planes would be cool. I... My latest thing, ever since I came back to Minecraft, I've been really liking the flowery planes, like the flower fields, because of the increased rate of beehive spawning like whenever you grow trees. Uh, cause I love beekeeping in this game. It's awesome. It rocks. Dude, you're so right. Hold on, let's, um... Let's do a little seed collecting. How about that? So that way when I'm doing all of this nonsense, we can have some food growing in the background. Yeah, I love deforesting these areas. Might make some flint and steel later and go wild. Man, you know, sheep, I promise I'll wait until it's my last resort before I kill you. Where are we at on seeds? 11. Not the worst. Do I have apples? Oh, I do have apples. And rotten flesh. Okay. You know, we're actually balling. I'm just gonna 
I'm gonna be a Zen monk for a second, so my hunger doesn't go down more than necessary. We're just gonna commune with the trees. Just for a little bit. You gotta eat Steve's sweet, sultry meat. That just melts in your mouth. Because it's been uh, in rigor mortis for some time. <laughs> rigor mortis is a fun word. I first learned it from that one Kendrick Lamar song called rigor mortis. Which is a kind of a funny way to learn about that process. But yeah, we're all gonna die and we're all gonna evacuate our bowels right afterwards and it's gonna be lit. Alright, let's get some more charcoal going. Can you match my charcoal freak? Can you? Oh, yeah, what, what have you been doing? Oh, look at this! This is pretty cool. You want some torches? This is like my vibe right now. Trying to light the memes up. Um, let's get some double charcoal action. What if we produced twice as much? Making beautiful clean coal. I wonder if they'll be friendly if I light up the area around them. Sometimes they are. Oh no, they want a piece. Oh, one of them turned to chill. Aw. Oh, I thought I was being really cool. I was hit twice, because I'm not as cool as I think I am. Yeah, I thought it was... Uh, I thought spiders were only cool in daylight as well, but then one time I just lit up a cave with torches, and then the spiders were just chill inside, and I was like, what's going on? Maybe it was just like a bug or something. I believe. Is there any other way to crit? Or is it just like sprinting into an enemy or jumping while you hit? Or like clicking whenever the little sword is full. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, I was just... Oh no! <laughs> okay, that was something. Yeah, I was just playing Bedrock, and they don't have the combat update on Bedrock, so this is kind of a culture shock for me at the moment. Yeah, I rip. I kind of forgot what the coordinates were. Oh, I think I was at like 400? Is that negative 400 or 400? Oh god. Ah. <laughs> ah! Wow. Where even was? I forgot my own coordinates. Dude, this skeleton. This skeleton is going crazy. Oh, wow. Okay, negative 470. And thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, is it this? Alright. Dope. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate ya. Yeah, I think I should focus on getting iron for beds. Oh no! Half a heart, that's lovely. Swimming is a thing. I, I was so surprised. Yeah, you can literally go horizontal. It's like so weird. Yeah, the movement is like interesting. There's fun little animations. Your little character model blinks, which is a fun little touch. There's just a lot of different memes. I started playing Bedrock because a friend of mine made a realm and I wanted to do that. So thus I was introduced the blinking of like the of the coordinates. Oh the bl oh you mean blinking of the player model. Yeah. It is a little uncanny to see a little Minecraft <laughs> avatar blink. It's interesting. Takes some getting used to. I think there's emotes too. I think you can like do little dances and whatnot. I'm sure there's like a flossing Minecraft Steve. I haven't looked at the emotes, but come on, man. <laughs> come on. All right, now that you're in the water, I'm faster than you, which I will take. And I hear a trident being thrown at me, so I'm just gonna go away from that. Yeah, I need to start modding this. I played like. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, I played like some mod packs once upon a time. I used to play a lot of Tech It, which I don't know if people still play Tech It or not, but that's a thing I used to do. There's um this mod, I think maybe it's just a singular mod or like a mod pack called Cobblemon, I think. Yeah, Cobblemon. But it's like a new ver. It's like it's like Pixelmon, but it's not. But I thought that was like a fun meme that I'd like to try. If any of y'all checked out Cobblemon yet? Yeah, me too, dude. Like I have never even gotten all the advancements on vanilla, so I was kind of thinking I should do that before I get into mods. Now that I'm doing this game again. What time did you guys get into Minecraft? I started at like 1.1, like after the official release, but before the jungle update of 1.2. Were y'all like before or after that? It's, in it's interesting to see when people hop in to the Minecraft verse, the mine zone, the crafting zone. All right, we should be around the area. Oh, all this stuff's in a chest. That's so nice. Thank you. Oh, this whippersnapper. Ah! Okay, we might just die once more. All right, it died. Oh, the mobile game. I did have some friends that played Minecraft Pocket Edition. Oh, thanks, fam. Oh, the, the aquatic update is fun. I love all the... Uh, like the armor enchantments from the aquatic update. And the trident's cool too. Yeah, oh my gosh, all the new kinds of fish that were added wowed me. Like all the tropical fish and all the different models. Very cool. I like that you can pick them all up in, well, you can't pick the dolphins up in buckets, but you can pick up <laughs> all of the fish that you see and just like place them wherever and they won't despawn like after they're in a bucket like it's awesome really cool i think i'm gonna be really into making beehives and um aquariums like little beekeeping areas and aquariums okay that's kind of a decent amount Oh, uh, you know what? Hmm. To farm or to mine? That is the question. I think I'm gonna make a little farm over here to start. Just so we can have it going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be a nice name. Fishing. Then... You didn't trap them. Oh, you can trap dolphins in a one by one box? LOL. That's very funny. They don't like suffocate or anything from that. You know, speaking of fishing, there's a whole mess of salmon right here. So I'm going to do just that. Hello, my pretties. Oh, come on. Two hits with a pickaxe, really? Please. Ah, there. Bam. Yeah, glass is nifty for that. Especially for like moving mobs with mine carts and stuff. If you like use glass, you can keep out mobs and such, but anything in the mine cart, I'm pretty sure can pass through glass if it just hits its head. Okay, let's make a fun little hoe, or maybe two, because these stone ones break fast. And we'll just go along our little coastline to get rid of these 20 something seeds that we have. Bam, bam. All right, 27 seeds, let's go. 
Thoughts on FPS games? Um, I have played my fair share of Halls of Duty. Um, I like Black Ops 1 and 2 a lot. And 3. Black Ops 3 is fun. Um, I played a lot of Star Wars Battlefront 2005. That was, like, really... If there is a FPS game that has... The most hours for me, it's Star Wars Battlefront from 2005. Yeah, yeah, it's open. If you want to join the server. And I still, I have like the server paid for for like a long time. So it'll be up. And if like people stay playing on the server, I'll just keep renewing it. So don't feel like your stuff <laughs> that you build will just be erased because I'm not planning on erasing anything. Welcome, welcome. Gonna cook up some of this fish, I reckon. But yeah, we're at um, negative 414, roughly. Around there. Okay, I think I'm going to start on the first little structure thing. I think um, if I can find the hole that we were at. Oh, here it is. I'm going to put a crafting table right here. And I'm going to cook some fish. Some more shovel action going. Make this part level. Oh, yeah. Dude, Overwatch 1 was a nice meme. I have not gotten into 2 either. I do have some friends that play Overwatch 2. But I just I haven't gotten into it. I've played like 2 games and like just got my shit pushed in basically uh, <laughs> I don't know there's a lot of new things that I didn't understand like new characters and new mechanics and then I didn't feel like learning all of them I don't know it's fun though it's dynamic I was a Lucio man in Overwatch I started with D.Va and then I started playing a lot of Roadhog and Lucio what did you play when you were doing Overwatch, that streamer? Junkrat, Junkrat, oh my gosh. Dude, Junkrat's ult got me all the time. Junkrat is fantastic, yeah, very silly. You guys reckon we can take out this Enderman? Probably not, but I'm gonna run into the water. Come on, approach me. Approach me, I dare you. Oh wow, he's actually going into the water. I didn't think they actually would. Come on. <laughs> this guy. Come on. <laughs> This is so funny. Usually whenever mobs are by a surface that will hurt them, they'll just like stop in front of it. Oh, now he's stopping. Now I'm like scared he'll hit me once he jumps into the water because he's going in for like a second. Come on. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, and he dropped a pearl too. Look at me. I'm as lucky as can be. All right, let's eat more of some, more of our deceased Steve. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a bit of iron, I think, because I don't know. I'm, my mind, it's all over the place. I would like to get iron, but I'd also like to start on the house that I just started on, or finish the house I just started on. Um, 
I don't really know how this looks, but we'll just see. When in doubt, I just usually cover everything in slabs. Just gonna make a little bit of a barrier between us and the mobs. Can do some aesthetic seating. Oh, I forgot that these are these are slabs, aren't they? All right, let's get another axe going. Okay, so I'll just I'll take out these and put some stairs. A little deck, cool. Oh, that's neat. That would be fun for fishing. Now I got fishing on the mind. One thing I'm looking forward to in Java that I couldn't do in Bedrock is auto-fishing. Like the whole F3 click trick to just keep fishing over and over. Uh, What do I want to smelt? What am I trying to smelt right now? I don't even know why I did this. Why am I opening this? Um, Andersite? Could we do this to get polished? Nope. Nope. I don't know. Brain fog moment. Let's just smelt some stone while we're here. Okay. I'm going... Oh, um, I think it's still a thing. I haven't tried it yet. There's probably a lot of things that I think are still a thing that aren't, <laughs> to be honest. Because it has been a while since I played Java. Alright, let's keep going down. Oh, just looking for some iron so we can shear those sheep. Do a little shearing, do a little edge shearing. I'm just gonna double check to make sure my lighting isn't on moody. Oh, it's on default. Let's make it bright. Let's make it bright, please. Of a bright tunnel. Oh, I got my eye on some iron. Or at least I'd like to have my eye on some iron. I have my mind's eye on some iron. Down. Where are we at? We are at... Oh my god! We're at 30? I thought we were way lower than 30. Well, we'll just have to keep going deeper. Oh! And speak of the devil. Here's iron as soon as my pickaxe breaks. Ah, oh, typical... All right, let's make some more stone pickaxes. Clear this iron vein out of here. And I'll take the copper too, because they can be fun as little accent blocks. Or maybe we'll make a little lightning rod. And then we'll imagine making a copper golem, which we'll probably never be able to do in our lifetime. Oh my God, it's power. Yo, what the fuck is up, Powie? I love you. You're my sweet power. Sweet Powie. I hope your night is going well. <laughs> Powie, do you have Java Edition? Minecraft Java Edition? Because I opened up the server for folks if they want a meme. We could totally craft. Aw. Uh, no. Java Edition is PC. Uh, I, it's PC only. Bedrock Edition, the one that um, we're doing with Kyle, though, that is, that's, you can play on console with that one. But this is a PC meme. Aw. Well, Powie, I love you anyway, even though you are a console whore. 
I'm so stoked for you to build your PC. I've never built one myself because I'm uh, too paranoid that I'm gonna like ruin a part by not being grounded or something. But like, I'm so stoked for you. Because I think you have the big brain to do it. I think you have the big brain, but I also think you have the hands of a surgeon. Oh yeah, it's totally, yeah. If you have, dude, you've got it in the bag if you're gonna be building it with someone. If you put your heads together, there's nothing you can't solve. Absolutely nothing. Dude, I love these bone bonking sounds. I need me some bone bonking ambience. 10 hours. Ow oh, it's a house call. <laughs> ah! Oh, I'm getting shot at, which is not the coolest. Yo, what's up, the crafter? Oh, and gamer hi, or gamer hi hi. What's up, fam? Power, I've been kind of itching to play some Bloodborne, not gonna lie. Not gonna heckin' lie. Like, I know the Elden Ring DLC is coming out, but I don't wanna meme on some Bloodborne. Ah! Oh, wow, I'm just not being cautious. I'm getting hit. <laughs> yeah, we should stream Bloodborne. That would be awesome, Powie. I would love that. Any of you other folks? in this room play Bloodborne, it's like the best from software game. Start to finish tonight. Yeah, I could I could meme on some Bloodborne tonight. Do you wanna like stay up for a little bit, Powie? Oh, thanks for, oh, someone already made a bed. Look at that. You guys are awesome. You guys are doing way better than me. Okay, cool. Hold on. So Powie, after I finish this little house thing, I'm gonna fill it with some uh, chests with like some stone tools and then I'll probably call it a night but we could do some lovely little uh, lovely Bloodborne action and I don't know if any of you folks play Bloodborne but three people can play at a time if anyone wants to Bloodborne it up tonight don't know if y'all have Bloodborne that crafter underscore but yeah that would be so dope it's been a while since we've memed on Bloodborne Oh, I didn't realize my inventory was full. I was like, why can't I take anything? <laughs> okay, let's put this iron in here. Get that going. Okay, dope. Yeah, I think... Honestly, dude, I... Like, the re-downloads don't even take that long. Like, that's what's so awesome about Bloodborne, is it's just so tight. It's so tight! So small. Keratons, have you ever played any From Software game like Dark Souls or or like Elden Ring or anything like that? Tight, tight, oh tight. Isn't that like a, a isn't that like Quentin Tarantino dialogue? Or someone like snorts something or like does heroin or something and they're like tight, tight, tight. I think that's like I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's like from Oh, that's from Breaking Bad. I oh uh, yeah. LOL. Oh yeah, that's Tuco. Yeah. <laughs> Powie, have you seen that one Breaking Bad meme where it's like Tuco breaking up the crystal meth, but like it's the infinity stones? Have you seen that? He's like breaking up the mind stone <laughs> and snorting it. Or like, yeah. Or tasting it or whatever. Whatever they do with the drugs that I don't take. Oh, you found a bee? That's dope. Yay. And there's a random Enderman teleporting around. I'm gonna throw all this garbage in here. All right, I was thinking maybe I can start accenting some stuff with some stone bricks or maybe some other types of wood. I was making a lot of charcoal out of this out of these oak logs, so I only had birch left. That's why I started building with the birch. Oh yeah, all that for a drop of blood, dude. This ender. Oh no, someone got memed on. Hold on, I'll avenge you. 
I'll avenge you, that crafter. Go on, Mr. Envy Man. Let's dance. Let's get a little closer. I'll get your items and put them in a chest, that crafter. Oh, and he dropped. He dropped the meme. The iconic grass block. All right, let's put these items in a chest for that crafter. Oh, that crafter had another bed. Or that crafter, did you have a bed, but you just didn't sleep in it? Rest in peace. On a real note, the dishes and the laundry. Yeah, that's like, that's the Sisyphean task. That's like prime podcast listening chores, though. I've, uh, recently since I've been, like, getting back... Oh, yeah, um, let me see, let me see. Are there any items you're missing? Like, here's some... Oh, no, you're good? Okay. Recently, I've been putting on, like, Minecraft update videos, like, because I haven't been on Vi Minecraft in a while, so I'm just learning what's been added whenever I do dishes and stuff. Howie, how's, like... Okay, do bottles smell after a while? Because, like, formula's, like... I know it's not exactly milk, but is it, like... I don't know. Like, you know how... You know how if you, like, put milk in some sort of container, like a water bottle or something, or, like, a some sort of flask, and then you clean it, but, like, it still kind of smell Like, months later, even if you've, like, cleaned it, it still kind of smells... Yeah, okay. So that is kind of the meme. I was just curious. All capital ass. You know it's good if it's all capital. What are we thinking for the roof, fellas? Maybe some oak? Maybe? Perhaps? Might look, a Might look a little nice. Oh wait, no, this is the nice tree that I'm not gonna touch. I'm gonna light this place up a little more. Contain all the gamer convention gooey juice in a bottle? Oh no. It's like a jar. It's like a jar with a Rouge the Bat figurine, but it's just like sustenance for the most important thing in your life. Dude, I could never have enough crafting tables. Like, I never want to walk to a crafting table. So I will always just place a million of them. Alright, I'm gonna start doing some memes over here on the roof. Just gonna see how this goes. Oh, I got a puffer fish by me. Thank you for. <laughs> Thank you to whoever dropped that puffer fish. Very nice of you. Power, it's like the damage in Bloodborne whenever you're in the nightmare realm and you are exposed to the light for too long and you just start getting stabbed with javelins. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of that. Alright, let's get a, another layer on here. Please God, dry my wets. Yeah. Dude, the dialogue in Bloodborne is so, like, gross. There's so many fucking gooey things in that game like I love the way it makes me cringe like I usually don't like horror stuff but it's done and so well it's like not cheap horror it's like good good like creepiness value good creepy action 
Grant us eyes. Oh man, yeah. What's the what's the um? God, oh, what is what is his name? I can't remember his name. The guy with the cage on his head. Who doesn't want? When you kill him, he's like, no, I'll forget everything. Nicolash. Oh my god, there's a bee in the house? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. There's just a bee chilling here. Nicolash. Oh my gosh. What if we all slept at the same time? Wouldn't that be beautiful? I don't know if we have enough beds. I don't even know if there's enough beds in the world. Yeah. It's all cool. At least I set my spawn. Oh, you know what? There could very soon be enough beds because I was smelting some iron. Yes. Yes, I was. I'm going to make a chest plate, a pickaxe, and some shears. Aw, that's really cute and nice. Okay, yeah, I can, yeah, I'll, I'll lay down in the bed. Noise, noise. I wonder if we could get through all of Bloodborne tonight, Powie. Like our our levels, our Bloodborne levels are pretty pretty up there. Oh yeah, the rain was a nice ambient meme. I do miss the rain. Why am I doing dude, I have an axe and I've been hitting that with my hand like a big silly guy. Alright, I'm just gonna chop this, I think. You're darn right. Oh no! I I did not mean to do that. Hold on. Let me get another flower. I can fix this. I can fix this. Hey, come here. It'll be it'll be great. Come over here, B. You're special to me. And I'll always love you. Okay, let's trap you again. And now stay here. Come over here. Alright. No, no, no. Come over here again. <laughs> no, no. Come back in. We love you. Nice. That's what we like to see. We love to see a trapped bee. Love to see a trapped bee winning. I can do some sort of elevation still. I just really wanted that bee to stay. Just a little more slab action. Gonna have to get some more trees going here. Plant the ones I have. Go one. Two, three. Maybe we can just keep this like this. And then I think it's cool to do this now. This is an awesome use of the shovel, I think. For aesthetic purposes. To make these paths. I think this would be fun to maybe have trees on each side of this path. Maybe that would be a nice meme. But we do two block intervals. Or no, would that be? Hmm. Yeah. One, two, bam. One, two, bam. There. And then we'll go two out from here. One, two, there. One, two, there. Let's also get some chest action in here. Put one like, I don't know, here. I am. Or maybe I should just start making, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just make this the wood chest. How about that? I should start making a storage area though, I reckon. Oh, well that streamer, thank you so much for playing with us. That's so nice of you. I'll have to follow you as well, because I assume from the name that streamer, I assume you stream. So I'll go ahead and give you a follow, and perhaps we'll stay in touch. That would be cool. But yeah, um, sweet dreams, that streamer. Have a good one. Um, if you... Oh, wait, I don't even know who needs the bones. I have one bone in this chest over by the sheep, if anyone wants it. Oh, hell yeah. Whenever we do find a dog with those bones in our inventory, there's no way it will be able to resist us. Not with our combined psychic powers and treats.
This is turning out to be a pretty nice orchard. We are paving paradise to put up a parking lot just a little bit, but I think it's worth it for the American dream. And I want the apples, so. Do I have time to chop this tree down before the zombie comes? The answer is yes. Another old guy here. Oh. And my inventory is full once again. We're gonna have to make some chests. Um, chest, chest, just for the sake of being symmetrical. And because we want to be so, so, so symmetrical and amazing, we're going to put another crafting table right here. Um, and let's throw some, throw some tools in here, shall we? And I'll put the wood in this one. Alrighty. Some lovely cooked fish that was so graciously given to me. Oh no! Zombies are wrecking somebody. Oh no! More rats. I think they have a bed here though, at least I hope so. I'll avenge you. Oh no, the... I didn't know skeletons could equip shields. That's actually pretty dope. All right, let me put your shield back here. Did you have a bed over here? Like, are you close to get getting your stuff? Oh, no. <laughs> pal, we know we still haven't finished it. Still have not. And I still haven't had the ending spoiled or anything too, which I find pretty remarkable. Yeah. Okay, cool, I'm glad you got your stuff, fam. Yeah. What I have been doing, Powie, I've still been playing Baldur's Gate, but what I've been doing is I've been recording ambience videos. So I've just been like going to different areas and like recording the ambience audio for fun. Surprisingly, it has been, I don't know. Okay, so like I follow a decent amount of Baldur's Gate content creators, but they get like, they all give spoiler warnings, so I've managed to stay spoiler-free. Which is kind of neato. Oh, there's a creeper. Beware. Beware. Oh, nice. Wombo combo. Happy feet. Oh, man, it's so fun. Do you play D&D &D at all? Oh no, I'm chopping down the tree. I said I wouldn't chop down. Hold on, replanting. Yeah, the voice actors are so fun. I really like Astarion and Gale. I was romancing Gale in my playthrough, and then um, I <laughs> then like Lizel came on to me, and I was like, "What's happening?" And I was like trying to be polite, and then I accidentally romanced Lizel when I was trying to romance Gale. Lizel like forces you to romance her, basically. I didn't even realize I was romancing her. Very aggressive. I like how sweet Gale is. I like... Have you ever romanced Gale, Powie? He's very sweet. I would date any, like... I don't know. If I were in, like, a D&D &D world, I would totally be dating a wizard. Oh, do, okay, Gale, like, you have a fun little romantic night under the stars, and he, like, conjures a king-sized bed to just, like, chill in under the stars. Wizards can be girls, I think. But, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with romancing a male, either. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Perhaps. I mean, for Harry Potter rules, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there has to have been, like, some sort of fictional female character that was dubbed a wizard instead of, <laughs> instead of like, a witch or something. And then, I guess, like, the unisex term is mage. 
Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yeah, women are basically witches, basically. And guys are basically wizards. Yeah, mage is a good a good one. Also sorcerer is also like unisex as well. Just being a sorcerer. I really like choosing sorcerer with wild magic. Wild magic is so fun. Which, like, I was kind of iffy on whether I should play a wild magic sorcerer in Baldur's Gate. Because I was like, am I really going to have a lot of use with me meta magic? I was thinking, really, how many options can they put in with meta magic? But um, there were surprisingly, like, varied options for most spells with things you can do. As far as meta magic goes, obviously you can't be as creative as you would be in like a normal D and D campaign where you can literally think of anything, but the options are pretty vast, pretty darn vast. Yeah. I feel like sorceress might be getting phased out like waitress and actress are, you know? You know how we just call waitresses and actresses like waiters and actors now? Just, I don't know. I feel like it's all merging. But who knows? Maybe there's a sorceress out there where, like, if you call her a sorcerer, she'll, like, turn you into a frog because she's so disgusted by not being addressed as a sorceress. <laughs> That's almost like Scratch's chin. Oh heck yeah, you got some moss, like mossy cobble? Or what do you mean by moss? Do you, where do you place some moss, fam? I'm intrigued. Are there moss blocks now? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Moss block, where is it? Where do you place the moss block? Oh, cool. That's neat. So these are from like the um the underground biome, like the underground cave biome thing. Uh, I have a bone. Here you go. You can turn that into bone meal. Oh, cool. Would your dog like some rotten flesh? Oh, it would. Yay. Oh, hell yeah, Powie. Was it homemade apple pie? By chance? Yeah, Powie, I hope you brought enough for the whole class. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rip open your stomach and eat the insides like that one interdimensional cable bit. But are you ready to go to um the streets of Yarnum, Power? <laughs> yeah. Kansas internet. Your modem's being like swirled up in a tornado and there's a wicked witch heckling it. I'll get you upload and your download speed too. Well, you know what? I'm starting to think that slabs for the entirety of the ground maybe wasn't the best idea because I just end up making everything float. <laughs> oh heck yeah, we love bees up in here. Yeah, that's crazy, Pally. We just got, um, like, over here in Mariah and I, in our little neck of the woods, we got Bright Speed, which is, like, a new thing from Century Link. It's, like, fiber cable, fiber optic, fiber internet, whatever. But, um, it's a nice meme, and we got, like, a fun little deal on it. I finally switched from Mediacom, which I was using for like eight years. Dude, it's nice. <laughs> like, honestly, it's a nice man. But hey, whenever you make it back over here, uh, like whenever you move, you could totally get it. And that would be so neato.
Oh, we're back to chopping. Lordy, lordy. Honestly, chopping trees is like the most zen thing ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I could bring my anecdotal evidence to the table for, for your listening pleasure, Powie. Dude, look at this orchard. This is nice. This is a nice little meme. I'm gonna continue my pathway that I had going on. Oh, I should do sh this with shears. <laughs> you should get like a big hamster wheel power. Like over, I don't know if you've ever been to the Discovery Center, Howie, but like there's this big hamster wheel and it's like a electricity generator. And then once you're done running in the hamster wheel, you can press a button to like discharge all the electricity you made between two metal points. And it's like, it's a fun little thing to watch. But yeah, definitely a way to get out the energy of a lot of hyper youngsters. I think we all should have a hamster wheel, honestly. Like instead of, I don't know, <laughs> instead of like solar power, we should all just have a big hamster wheel in our house. <laughs> My first act of president is installing a hamster wheel in every home in the great United States of America. There are secret societies that do not want you to have a hamster wheel. My presidential voice. Very esteemed. <laughs> Not because it's easy, but because I like spinning around. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did. Or at least at least his scriptwriter did, for sure. Or not scriptwriter, but speechwriter. Which would be an awesome job to have. The president's speechwriter. How many of <laughs> how many future president speeches do you think are gonna be written with chat GPT? Probably, like, at least 10 before someone catches on. <laughs> well, we're just going in a row, aren't we? Yeah, Microsoft Paint would probably be my preferred method. If that's, like, <laughs> if they're all written, like, live on Microsoft Paint as he's reading the teleprompter. Or she, if we get a female president in the future. Or they, if we get a non-binary president in the future. But, you know, it would be funny if they were, like, being written on a tablet with someone with, like, a pen. While, like, in Microsoft Paint while um, it's being broadcasted. Be a lovely meme. Oh, we got a sleepy sheepy over here. Well, I will join you. I will totes def join you in the sleepy zone. I've been just planting trees for a really long time. But it's what I want to do. It's what I wish to do. A dog island. Oh, God. My God. You want to know a funny little anecdote? So my wife's... My wife's aunt at one point told us a story about how she was walking or she was gardening and people were walking past and she was having like a bad day gardening and she was praying to God like G-O-D capital G God like um, could I please have a better day <laughs> or something to that effect and um, she like had a lot of dogs pass by her that day and then she was thinking to herself why did all these dogs pass by and she was like praying so i guess not thinking to herself she was talking to god and saying why did all these dogs pass by and then she thought in her mind duh god backwards is dog and when she told us that i laughed so hard because I didn't realize she was being serious, but she was being serious. And I think that's very precious. But I just wanted to share that little anecdote. Oh, dog. 
but like all the time my wife and I say, duh, God backwards, like pretty often. Ooh, Bloodborne has been downloaded. That is crazy. Big if true, big if true. Well, I'm gonna finish these few final rows of trees and then I'm gonna craft a bunch of stone tools. And then after that, I think I'm gonna hop in Yarnum. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Uh, here in a little bit, Nukatronic and I are going to be streaming some Bloodborne. So if you feel like watching some hunters traipse around Yarnum and old Yarnum, then stop by for that. But um, yeah, look at this little starting place. This is a nice meme. That's a nice little thingy, right? I certainly think so. Maybe the roof could use some work because I was trying to patch it up when I had a bee trying to escape. But yeah, um, this is a nice little starter house. If you want to join the server, join the server and get yourself some tools and whatnot from this structure. But yeah, nice memes. Nice memes, nice memes. I'm going to dump all my stuff in here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go hop on Bloodborne with my friend. See ya. Bye.